Easy TV International. Hello, guys. Welcome to Easy TV International. So, welcome to another uh, Tech View episode. So, today's Tech View episode, we're going to discuss about how you can mount NFS storage through uh, Isolone cluster. NFS storage on your Isolone cluster, and then how you can mount it on your um, VMware environment, which is like uh, with your all ESXi host. Now, our beans. Main focus is to create, configure NFS share. NFS share on, on the system, then this is by default. For video, it's nothing here. And for uh, user data, nothing here. And for the audio system, nothing here. But for the system, by default, I have one share. But I have to create some share first. So that's why you have to go to the file system and then file system explore. And from here, I will have to create some um, directory. So for system, I want to create a directory, uh, say directory name now. Um, uh, System NFS. System NFS. So you know it's under system. System NFS. And permission type, you can take off. But for the user level, just give all permissions. And create a directory. So we created one directory for system. Now we're going to create a directory for video. Um, Create the directory. So I have created before one here. This. So let's create the like this. Need NFS. Need NFS. DBMFS and you can give it like this and create your tree. So it's not here, but I have already one, that's why I'm not going to create here. See, I have one here. This is already permissions. The same thing. And then, then I'm going to create another one is for audio. So the audio, I'm in under file system explorer. So for configuring another share, the first task is you have to go to the file and then file system explore. And <clears throat> so under the audio, there is no directory for creating NFS. Just clear one. I will say audio NFS. Just for example, if we name it audio NFS, then we we'll understand that this is under the audio access plan. That's why I need it like that. To create the directory, so we have directory, and also create a directory on uh, the user data. So user data we don't have any. Just create another directory. It's very pretty simple. It's just get some permissions for the user level, all permissions, and the user data and address. That's it. And creating directly. So our file system explorer task is done. Now we can go NFS share. So for the NFS share, another system, under the system, we have, we do have, we have to create one. Okay. Yeah, we already created the data. So just create an export share and FS export. So you have to create an export share. So create export and then the tab, whatever you created. So you created a tab called system and FS this one, right? I hope you guys remember. You created a file file explorer. You created this one, system and FS. So just browse and you just select it. 
the three part and description is the description you can define anything the, the same system zone system zone um, and the storage system zone and the storage anything you can write it here it doesn't matter uh, but the client, so who are going to use this here? Now, this is the factor. Who are going to use this here? So, you have to specify. So, I know my um, SSI IP addresses. So, my SSI IP address um, for this one, the IP is. Um, one of those is one dot ten. This one is twenty. This one is eleven. This one is twelve. This one is thirteen. Yes. So I'm gonna add all those IPs in here on the share. So say one ninety two dot one fifty eight dot one dot ten. Then common one ninety two dot one fifty eight dot eleven. Another common. Then one ninety two dot one fifty eight dot um twelve comma then one ninety two dot one fifty eight dot one dot twenty. So I added my all SXI IP addresses and just make a copy because I need for another storage and Regret times if you have any uh, permission issue, you can find here, but right now you don't need to do anything. Uh, restrict access to read only or enable mount access to sub, uh, subject arrays. You don't need to do anything. Thank you. And here then, it's good. This is pretty simple. It will create. Share okay. Now we're gonna create under view. So we export, but we don't have nothing here. And under the video, remember under the video we created video sent video address, right? So just select on the path and then the description you can buy anything. Okay. Um, video access one and the okay, storage video access one and the storage. And who is the client? I know the client, right? I just copy and I press it here, and that's it. Just there and export. It's done. So now for um, audio, it's just under every extension. I'm 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 trying to show you guys like how like how many different ways you can create and you can provide access. Um, so whenever I'm gonna mount on this side, you will understand better because each access zone has uh, certain IP range. There's a mine, uh, IP3. So for audio, same thing, create export and select the tab. We create it. Which one is, um, right now we're under audio. So, hmm. audio and audio images, right? Select so audio. Excision and after storage. And the client you already know. And then here yeah, export. This is a little bit long, okay, it's done. Now user data, okay? So user data, we don't have anything yet. Create yeah. export. Go to the browse option. And use the data here, and you created this one, right? Remember, you created this one, use the data 
parameters. If you get this one, the left. So this is the path in the description. The um, user in the path. And the time we you already know <clears throat> I want to mount this one for our own research focus. Is there that? Oh. So all the export and I think export already configured for all the actual zone. Now I I want to show this another thing. So whatever the capacity I have for my whole if you go to cluster overview, in my cluster I have total 56 gig storage. Total hang on. Because uh, I don't have that much because it's, it's my home lab. So I have total 56 gig storage on my three cluster that is in my in my like whole cluster. So if you don't specify the core, it's gonna take the whole storage. Okay. So I'll show you the difference. Uh, so we so far we created for video system, audio, and user core, right? For an FS share, we created so far. Um, so for the system, we don't wanna use any smart product, no. We don't, we don't want to limit anything for one, and but for the other three, we're gonna assign some code. So I'm gonna use smart code. Under the file, click on smart code. Okay, so I have some here before I did it. So let me do it all. Where the code? Okay. Create a code. So I'm going to create a code. So code has three types: directory coda, user coda, and group coda. I'm going to create a directory coda because the directory is also created. And show the path. Which path? Which one you want to provide the coda? So remember, for the system, you, you don't want to change. Why you don't want to change? You're supposed to change it, but why I don't want to change? Because I I wanna I want to show you guys like what's different. If you use the coda or you don't use that's why I want to keep one default. So system manifest I want to keep default. And for video, video NFS, select. So I just like a video NFS and CC5 storage limit. Click here. And you can specify three ways, which is Set an advisory storage limit, set a sto uh, stop storage limit, and set a hard storage limit. So hard storage limit, however you select it, yeah, when you, and you can create some uh, threshold, and based on that you can create some alert, so it will notify you whenever you reach that threshold. So that's why I always use hard limit. But whenever you use hard limit, that means if you go over then will not be able to use the storage. So the limit, the first one I say five gig. Now this is just example, that's why I signed five gig for the video send, uh, video NFS storage and three. Okay, so now I'm going to create another one just remember, the other under the three code, and now I want to go back to audio. So audio, and I just select this one and specify the layer. Now we are like the hard layer, and for audio, and the other, and. It's pretty simple. And um, for the same thing, now we're going to use the click for the click for user, right? User data. And then user data nothing. 
Tamam. Tamam. Simplify that. Storage limit. The storage limit is going to use that uh, hard storage. Which is going to be I assign different, different uh, storage because to specify and to understand which one we assign in the value. So, 15 and the right, and that's it. That's for you. So, so far, what do we do? First, we created a file system explorer under all access zone. Then, we created an NFS share and NFS export to, under each access zone. And then, we used smart folder, smart folder to specify the storage limit. See here, we have to run three types of limit. And for the system, we didn't define anything. So the system will get the whole whole um isolum, whole isolum cluster storage. Okay, so let's see how it works. But one thing you have to remember this tab. If you don't know this tab, you will not be able to edit. So uh let's see. So you know let's see NFS. So this is the one we need to copy this one because this tab we need it. So the system IP address, do you guys remember what the system IP address is depends on our uh IP tool. So if you go network configuration. Under the subnet, or sorry, under the subnet zero, and here is the IP tool. So the zero, the IP tool zero is controlled by system. How it's controlled by system? If you go inside, access the system, right? Access the system. And IP range is 55 to 30. So any IP under this range, I can use for um, as an IP server IP. So here. Uh, how I can mount in, in my any SXL host. So, so, for example, here I want to mount here. So I click on it, I click on the host, then go to your storage, new storage, then NFS, NFS, next, NFS3, next. And here you can specify anything. So, it's system and right? You can, you can say same thing, or you can, you can say same thing as something different. Depends on me, but I'm keeping the same name for my understanding, for you guys' understanding. Um, system and address. System and address. And the folder path, which is this one, I copied already. And the server. So you remember the server range. So for system John, for the system John, our IP range is 192. Dot one sixty eight dot fifty five dot two two thirty in 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 IP. So last one you can change any one. So for example, you can say two hundred things. It doesn't matter. Two thousand. If you are as long as if you are in on the range, it should work. Next, and finish. So we are done. We go to the other screen. So system and address is here. And what the capacity is 56 because we didn't need any smart program. That's why it takes the whole cluster storage. Now, how you can mount the other? So my second boost it doesn't have the before, right? But this one has system and address. So go to the go to the storage item. And you can see here, so this one is now host only one host has this storage. Right? So right click on this storage and say like mount carousel to additional host. Click on this and then we'll have the options to assign for all other hosts. So select all hosts and click OK. See how quickly it's mount. So now you each and every your sixty host has the same storage. Now, now we're gonna do for other one. 
So which one? Again. So the pool, I have to share. Um, this time you already did now video. So for the video, what's our uh, directory tab? This is our directory tab. So I'm going to copy because I need it. I need this tab. And close it. And which IP is supposed to use as an FS server? It depends on my IP pool. So IP pool one, this one I assigned for video. If you check here, it access to video, right? So give you access to and IP it should be 31 to 60. Any IP you can use in between 32, 32, 34, up to 60. Any IP you can use as an FS share server. So I'm going to close this one and then to any host you can select, just right click on it and then go to the storage. New storage, same way. NFS next. NFS three next. And you can see um, video and okay. um, it depends on you how you can name it. Or you can say video and address. Anything can work, it's just for VM also. And the folder path is I already copied and the IP address. So remember IP address is only the two dot one fifty eight dot fifty five dot. 31 to 60, any number, so you can say that for example. Okay, so it says video failed the mount request was denied by the network server, so I can export this, and that line is permitted to mount it. Okay. So, whenever you mount it, if you don't have the permission, you cannot mount it. So, what's the permission level? Let's go check. Um, so, for the system, we don't have any problem for the system. File Explorer, go to File Explorer. Um, on the system, Another system and created system and access, right? So this is all permission. Okay. Mm -hmm. So go one step ahead. Another system. The same type of permissions I provided here, so it should work. Okay, so the video. Go to the video and check the DNFS. Okay. Same kind of, so just the problem is your cluster network. Okay. And this one. So from 31 to 16, what did you write? So you should be able to assign me and P in the game. And for audio, so let's, let's do with the audio. So 61, 290, me and P. should work. Because this audio is right? 
for the audio room. Now I do for the audio. So let's go and let's share. Change it to audio. Uh, go to the share room. And we can change to copy. Copy. Allow. Okay. Here, right click, and then storage, and the first, next, and the first, next, the audio, and the first, IP, so you remember the IP? Uh, network, subnet, and I think it's two, which is 61 to 90 for the audio minimum. So let's say 61. So dot one to say dot 55 dot 61. Okay. Again, they again, 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 it's denied. So it's now supposed to be nine. Okay, so do one thing for checking. Um, go to that and to share. So do you edit? So we have to divide. Access for this one. Here on. Okay. Last pin. And if you don't want to do a dot, if you have dot for the first, this pin. From so, 60 to 90, any ID is 77. Be sure about that. It's pinging, and if you type here, one and two dot one to two dot one dot, sorry, not 65 dot 77. Any ID, yeah, actually, it's done. Very clear. Okay. And everything is done. So we just change. Um, we assign read, uh, read write primes as, as are all the success was. So let's see. Any one of the words. Storage, new storage. Okay. Yeah. And I and the first three lines. The restore name is the same or you or you and I first No, we need to have the tab. We need to have the tab. So make sure your tab is correct. And probably one to three dot fifty five dot seventy seven. This is under okay, sorry. So make sure everything correct. Okay, that's an important map. If you plan to configure existing data store in new board, you can use that. Okay. Yeah, I'll be on the thing is clearly. So, see, the audio metrics is clear, but it shows 65. Uh, the capacity 
I don't believe it. I don't know why it changed. This is the top. On the smart photo. File. Smart photo. The audio, audio, NFS. Supposed to be ten, right? Maybe on the NFS, probably ten. Should be ten. It should be ten. If not, it shouldn't be ten. Okay. Let's try without without giving any permissions. So for video, I can fire the video. Because the, the first one I didn't assign anything for this right to work, so this one is supposed to be work. So no, actually I need this task. If you type the task wrong, then come over. So copy. Okay. Here we open. Right click. Um, storage. No storage. Method. Yes. Method here, no. So, the path is this one, and video we know the IP address range from 31 to 60. So, 192.168.55. Say 39. This is under the range. Next. Okay. So, Without any problem is created, but the only one problem is um, it's not getting <clears throat> the code I assigned. So what's the issue with the code? I believe the first one is only given the sign. So I'm going to give it all. So let's do one thing. BDNFS, I'm going to do it. And now, one more. Okay, okay, do it. And then audio. And now, one more. Host. Okay. Then system NFS. And then from all those. Okay. It's the model. It will take a little time, it's fine. So <clears throat> now we need to clear the cache. So I click on click plus two minutes. So you can clear that the cache. A couple of times. Here are the tests. So the first one is not completely removed. So until it's completely removed, we have to do it. Okay, now I believe. Okay, I believe everything is done. It's done. So nothing left. Nothing left now. Run again, run to the left. Plus, there is done. So, now go to the storage again. So, we're going to try with, <clears throat> we're going to try with um, user data. That was the reason I signed before. So, new storage. And always read, write, find, since that is zero, nothing. Without this, let me try. Copy. 
along um, um, uh, the um, IP pool range, let me check the IP pool range for this user data, which is here, user data is uh, 55, and they want to one IP, any, any, any IP. So you can say 91, 92, 93, or you can say 180, 170, 190, anyone. So let's try here. Before we do that, let me check the quota, uh, smart quota. So for directory user data, this is the key way. Ready? Uh, Include data protection overhead in a storage quota. I think we need to do this one. Um, um, before why it doesn't work, data protection overhead in that storage quota. Okay, let's do this one. Go to here, any SX type. Or you can do from here, I believe. And you can see. Storage, new storage, and a no, and a free space, users, data, second, and a third, and the IP, remember, one is equal to one fifty eight, dot fifty five, star, ninety one two. On that line, right? So you can say 99. And why is you can apply for all? All system request, say one, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you see, the same thing in the case of working on this side. I don't know why it's asking me again for the permission. So. I think I have to do what? What I have to do? Uh, I have to share. Yeah. Ready? So, I have to copy all these things. Here. So, I give you permission. It shouldn't be, but I don't know. So yeah, this is the this is the options you can use if there is a permission issue. So close it. Now go back to the uh, last one. So you can play right click right on the data center. So then go to the storage, new storage, NFS, next, NFS3 next. Um, user data, second NFS. You can name, you can put any name, it depends on you. But the folder path, make sure it's correct. And the server IP, and it's put on one to dot, fifty five dot, and then so, uh, for user data, access zone, we have, uh, some IP range, which is from, so we use IP to three. And ranges from 91 to 180. So in between any IP. So we choose 99, that's fine. Click next. Um, I'm going to apply, okay, we'll okay. do that. Do that okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at this space. The mount because of the net by an input server, check that it's code exists and then. I'm permitting to mount it. Okay. This is not work for one. Now it's work for four. All right. I don't know why it's giving me error. It's mounted for two. Sometimes it happens. See? It's already mounted. 
تصوری موجود نیست So, this one already mounted for two hosts. Host two hosts. So, how we can apply it for other things? Mount. Daniel, okay. I don't know why it's here. So now because it's uh, running now, okay. Hmm. Actually, if you want, now additional, first one, okay. Not showing you any more. So it's 17. Look at the time. Look at the time. So, if it is work for one, it's supposed to work for all. The reason error, if it is not the error, the reason is um, I assign all, I, I assign the permissions for all, right? 10, 20, 11, oh. One may go 10, one may go in second, one to 20, one may go in second, 11. And okay, okay. So the problem is so uh, 11 was an option I had, and I can 15. How do I do that part? One may go to dot one to two. Dot one dot thirteen. Because I have another host here. The IP of this host is thirteen. So I miss that part. Okay. And so, so let me check that. The global setting. Make sure it has, yeah. And that is the three interview for all our check marks, so it's fine. And smart folder, why it doesn't work, I don't understand. Um, so let me delete. The hard limit, okay. And assign the hard limit, okay. It is a check. 
quality. Include data collection overhead in the storage cost. Okay. This because of this size of hard pressure. That is like this one, size of hard pressure. Okay. Okay. Video and then audio. Video, edit. Size of cluster. That's why it takes all the whole size. Size of the hard threshold. We have to speak for this one. That's why the wrong way. Okay. Now close. And on the end, and this share. Make sure you change uh, the okay. so, so, so the user data. How come it's not showing here? The one at one sixty eight one dot ten, one at one sixty eight dot one dot thirteen. And this is one that one is one year this is that eleven one year this is that twelve. Okay, so all things I need to know about it. I need to close this. Um, for video, edit, edit. Find and this one. Okay. I don't know if anything is missed in the wonderful team when we were going 11 and 12. Okay. The audio system. Okay. We did already all so in the original system map you get it and then press it here and write it says okay close so now we're gonna do one by one again. So the first one we're gonna do on this share, the first one we have to do uh, the, um, use the data, right? So use the data, okay, um, copy that path, because exactly we need this. And from here, I want to delay the other one. Unmount. Yes, from this to unmount as well. We need to wait. Okay, it's done. Done is done. Okay. So do flash the S because maybe it can have the um, test. Okay. I gave the cash. Now, go to the say host to this one. Right click, storage, new storage. NFS, next. NFS3, next. Okay, user, 
clear down. I can remember. Just a name, nothing else. And for screen. Okay, I have this. And which you you that is correct. So user data, first of all, range for the user data. If you forget it, just check on matter configuration. Submit, so submit three, this one we are using for user data. And IP range is from 91 to 19, so 192.168.55.93. It should work. Finish. So the rest of here completed, it's done. So let me check the other store. See, now it's the TV. Now it's the TV, right? And okay, now do the other one. So if we do the other one, go to here. So let's add the uh, video. Video. Now video is That is this one. Copy the path. Go here. Right click. Storage. Move the store. And I press next. And I press B. And then say video. Media access or next, whatever you want. Tap. And then serve. So, okay. So for the video, our range is from 31 to 60, 31 to 60, in the entry, so 55, 192.168.55.55. This, okay, video address is here, 5G. We Limited 5D, it's so 5D, right? Now, everything working fine, right? So now we're going to add audio. Go to the audio and I'm going to share. Copy, get your tab copy, and then you can close it or you can go here. Right click on it, any host. You can select any host, but I'm doing everything on host page. There are I can mount it in other host. So right click on the host, go to the storage, new data store, and from there, NFS, next, NFS key, next, and new, new audio, and NFS, put a tab, and then one into two dot one six eight dot fifty five. So for the audio we, we use um, network tool number two, which is uh, ranges uh, from sixty to ninety, from sixty one to ninety. So any number you can say seventy seven. Yes, it's done. The audio address is ten. We make the limit 10 gig. That is 10 gig, right? So 5 gig, 15 gig, and 10 gig. But for the system zone, we didn't define any code, like we didn't define any limit. It will take the whole cluster storage. So let's, let me add this one. So the code, smart code. We didn't define it for system. So now I'm going to another share, uh, going to system, and I'm going to copy the directory tab, system analysis. Copy and close this one. Right click, storage, user desktop. Uh, NFS, next. 
system of governance for our family and land. Okay, we have question and address and uh, the IP for the system. Um, the IP is given from um, phone zero, which is from 192 dot any number. So you can say 15, any number. Right? And this one. So, so far we got our all data store and see this one as 56 because we didn't define any limit. Now, go to the data store and we have all the data store, whatever you mount it, apply, apply for all Because right now, if you go to the other storage, you will not be able to see, right? This post, we have only, we have nothing, like whatever we add, we have nothing here, right? Post two, you're gonna have. So we just add these two stories for checking. Okay, so for example, uh, video. So video has only one host, right? So we're gonna add another two host. Now, there are two additional host. Click here. So if you select all, you're gonna and on all the success hosts, but uh, we're not going to do all those or just two hosts, okay? Hmm. I don't understand why you giving me a command. So let's see the system. Now, this two. It's not fine. Okay. And then, see, all the three hosts have now the same data store. Now, yeah, it's done. So it's just nothing, maybe I just need to do some refresh. So, so far, you guys understand, like, I'm able to mount data store for all my SXA host. And also, the data store is mounted. If you are going to see here, so see the 5 gig, 15 gig, 10 gig, and also 56 gig, depends on my code, whatever I specify on here. So, so far, we are done here for configuring um, SLM protocols, uh, NFS protocols. So, we configure NFS and we are sending it to our PMO environment. Guys, for watching my video, and if you want to get my next video regarding uh, um, ISO configuration, please subscribe my channel and also click the bell by bell button, um, bell icon, when you get uh, my next video. Thank you for watching.